It's Foundation Friday, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm finally going to be trying the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Foundation. This foundation is supposed to be the answer to those who that like to wear like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, just giving you a very subtle, no makeup makeup look. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now the funny thing is, if you go to the Fenty Beauty website, you can see a beautiful video of Rihanna applying this herself. Roll the tape. So here you'll see Rihanna go from flawless to more flawless. <laughs> like, it made a very subtle difference because she's already so gorgeous. So, I mean, I'm no Rihanna. I actually have some flaws to cover up today. So we'll see how this does on non-perfect skin. But it does come in 25 shades. So it says if you were able to find your pro filter foundation color, there's a shade for you. I originally bought the wrong color because I used the Sephora foundation matcher and it gave me a shade that was too dark. But if you just go straight to the Fenty Beauty website and you look up your pro filter foundation, it'll tell you what range you fall in between. So I'm wearing number 15. It says it's going to pair well with your skincare and your primer. So I already have on my moisturizer, but now I'm gonna add the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer first. And I think I'm gonna apply it with my fingers today, just like Riri, cause you know, might as well follow the boss. So here's my skin before. Now let's see how it looks a little bit more blurred. I also put a poll on Instagram asking if you guys want me to use this with a concealer or a setting powder and you said no. You said you wanna see this all on its own. So you about to get a very natural look today. Now Rihanna says two or three drops. One, two, three. That's it? Okay, let's just do one side. Mix it together. Let's just press it into the skin. This is a very good color match for me. Hmm, let me just try to do one side. Perfect match, you almost don't see it at all. Do you guys see a difference? Almost too natural. I don't think I see a difference. Now let me try with a brush and see if we get some more coverage. So I'm gonna put a couple drops on here and then kind of... There we go. Yeah, I don't know about the finger application. Oh yeah, much better. Now I see a difference. Just gonna lightly buff it on there. And it says for a light to medium coverage long wearing, sweat resistant, and transfer resistant. That's better. I really didn't notice a difference at all with just my fingers, but I do like how it's looking with a brush. Let's see if it can cover up this little blemish I have here. Nice. Now let's add some more to the other side. I'm honestly not a tinted moisturizer, BB cream type of girl, but I really think that's just because it's from my past insecurities of having acne for majority of my life. So I'm just so used to full, full coverage, long lasting, all day wear, cover up all my acne that I don't even know how to act with <laughs> a light coverage anything. So I just have to kind of get used to and remind myself that I don't have that acne anymore to cover so I can get away or at least feel comfortable in a light coverage cream foundation, but I think I'm just brainwashed into thinking that I need full coverage. Okay, that's nice. This is not the first time I've used this foundation. I've been using it with a sponge, but I think my favorite application is by using a brush. It hasn't lasted very long on my skin, like for a day to day, but I'll try it again today and like really pay attention this time. But right now, that does look really good, very natural, perfect color match. So since you guys told me I could not add concealer today, I'm gonna add a little bit more under the eyes. I did notice and learn that when you're using a BB cream, tinted moisturizer, something very light, you gotta be careful with what concealer that you use. So the concealers I were using were just too harsh to blend in with this light foundation. So just remember if you're using a 
light coverage foundation, use a light coverage concealer because the full coverage concealer and the light coverage foundation is gonna have you looking crazy. All right, not bad. I would look better with some concealer. Let, let me check the poll one more time to see if the vote changed. 43% of you said with concealer, 57% said without. 35% of you said use with the powder, 65% said no powder. Fine. But let me continue on with this no makeup makeup look that I honestly haven't really mastered, so we're gonna just do this together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of color to my cheeks. This is by LYS, the black owned brand from Sephora. And it's a cream blush, which I don't really use all the time, but I just feel like this is a very like finger type look. So, blend this on my cheeks. Just a little color. Then I'm gonna get the Fenty Kilowatt Hustla Baby Highlight because we gotta stay glowing if we're not gonna have any other makeup on. Little shimmer there. Little shimmer there. I say little and then I put up a whole bunch. Definitely need some mascara. This is their Real Magnet Mascara by Benefit. It gives me some extreme length. Mascara will definitely make you look more alive during these no makeup makeup looks. Oh yeah, lashes make everything better. Now for my brows, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Balm Brows and the number six Rich Brown to give me a very natural look. I say that, like I'm not gonna draw a line, but we'll see. I always love a brow pencil that comes with a little spoolie on the back. Okay, now to finish off the look, I'm gonna use some, kind of like a colored chapstick from Rare Beauty. This is Honor and Empathy. Honor is just clear. It feels so good. It's like a fancy chapstick, basically. And then I'm gonna use the color Empathy for a little pop of color. Cute. I want to add a little bit of contour. Am I allowed? It's probably cheating. This is why I never did the no makeup makeup look because all of a sudden I accidentally did a full face. Just a little, just a little bit of contour, just to chisel the face. Okay, I'm done. And that is my very simple no makeup makeup look. So now let's see how I look compared to before. Very nice. So I can see this being like a favorite for all the Zoom calls. We don't wanna do a full face just to be on a one hour call or like a work day from home. Quick errand, you don't wanna to look too, like I just woke up. So that is my quick and easy, no makeup makeup look, keeping it super soft, super natural, very light coverage. It feels really light on the skin, doesn't feel like I'm wearing any makeup, doesn't feel cakey at all. Once again, these do come in 25 different shades. I got mine from Sephora and it is $29.50. So it's kind of pricey, but it's Fenty and it's Rihanna. So you're also paying the stunt a little bit. Almost all the shades are sold out on the Fenty Beauty website. So you might have better luck at a Sephora or a Sephora inside JCPenney. But let me know what you guys think. Leave all your thoughts below. Are you someone that prefers a tinted moisturizer or BB cream versus a full covered foundation? Or are you a full coverage type of person? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.